Hello guys, welcome back. Hello, Emily, Maria, Hello, Luis. Good to see you guys. Okay, um, we are on time. Thank you so much for coming early. Hello, Emily. So guys, let's get started with the lesson. Remember that we still have some activities pending, right? So let's go. And, um, and uh, we have this activity, right, that we did yesterday. Okay, let's try to answer this part. Okay, let's see. Uh, Maria, vamos a responder. We are going to answer the, the first question. Estamos, okay. What did your parents forbid? You to do when you were a child. ¿Qué es lo que sus padres le prohibían, right? When you were a child, when you were a child, cuando era niña. A niña. Yes, Maria? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what did your parents forbid you do when you were a child? Okay. In, in su casa, in your case? ¿Qué fue lo que su papá le prohibía? Uh -huh. Forbid. What is, uh, what is my, my parents, they forbid me to sleep late. Oh, to sleep late, right? Yes, right. They forbid you to sleep late. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria. What about uh, you, Emily? Emily Marquin. What did your parents forbid, right? You to do when you were a child. In your case, Maria? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Emily? Hello? No? Okay, what about uh, you, Patricia Veronica? What did your parents forbid you uh, to do when you were a child? What about um, you? Uh -huh. Watch TV. To watch TV, right? Okay, they <clears throat> forbid right? to watch TV. Okay, there it is. It's <coughs> prohibition, right? Not to watch TV. Okay, thank you, Patricia. What about the second one? Let's go with the second one. Let's see. Luis, how long, how long do you think a person can survive without food? How long, in your case, Luis? How long do you think a person can survive without food? Hmm? Good evening. Good evening, Luis. Yes, I think one person can survive, can survive without food around 11 days. Why do you say that? I saw in a television program mm -hmm. that one person can survive without food and water around 11 days. Around? But, mm -hmm. I, but I I don't know, <laughs> but I think yes, yes. E 11 days. 11 days, okay. Yes. So for example, what caught my attention is that you said 11 days, right? 11 días, alguien puede sobrevivir sin comida, right? Before to die. Before dying. Pero me llama la atención, but caught my attention, por ejemplo, the persons that uh, make, for example, the fast. Fast, que es el ayuno. There, that there are some people who make like uh, 20 days, maybe. And uh, how can you do that, right? Have you ever done a fast, Luis? Excuse me. ¿Alguna vez he hecho ayuno? ¿Have you ever done a fast? Uh, that is, I was, I, I made one uh, ayuno. Mm -hmm. Fast. Fast. Mm -hmm. 
¿Ya he hecho? Yeah, but, uh -huh. but only for one day. Only for one day. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. That is maybe the only day we can survive without food. And that, okay. It, 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 but taking the, the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't count, right? <laughs> I, I feel like I died. Like, yeah. Yes, like you were killing but, yourself. But, but, but 11 days, mm -hmm. I don't, that is that as I saw in a, in a television program oh, yeah. only. Mm -hmm. Yes, only. right. That's the part of the information. Some people can do more. For example, there is this guy, Gandhi. Gandhi, this guy. Here that this guy made like a lot of time without eating. So I can't imagine how he did that. Okay, thank you, Luis, for your information. What about number three? What have you managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? What about in your case, um, Jenny Sanchez? What have you managed to achieve despite lots of difficulties? Eh, ¿Cómo hemos eh, controlado, right? En caso de alcanzar, algún éxito, por ejemplo, a pesar de muchos obstáculos o dificultades. What about in your case? What what have is que que hice para alcanzar mi uh -huh. o cómo ha manejado o controlado el éxito. Oh, I o cómo lo ha alcanzado, right? With uh, es effort with effort mm -hmm. uh, I don't get over mm -hmm. uh, study study mm -hmm. uh, and, and with my work mm -hmm. with uh, con el cual pagué mis estudios uh, from <laughs> which one you paid your studies uh -huh. well, only. Only that. You have worked really hard, right, to get what you have now. Okay, thank you, Jenny. What about number four, Rufino? Which of your former teachers did you like the best? What about in your case, Rufino? Which of your former teachers? Uh, my former teachers uh, is... Uh, is um, uh, she she former teacher in the in the five grade mm -hmm. uh, years ago <laughs> 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 uh, oh, a lot of time back in the days <laughs> uh, okay i i five years uh, i five grade in that uh, where in exam in, in exam mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this teacher uh, answered me in 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 few questions mm -hmm. the exam. Mm -hmm. In this moment, uh, she she was for me <laughs> like an my angel former teacher, <laughs> like an angel, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that happens mm. when we had teacher who had helped us. Okay. Thank you, Rufita, for your <laughs> answer. Okay. What about uh, you, Rodrigo? Which of your former teachers did you like best and why? Um, the sixth grade, for example, you can hear? Okay, eh, si me ayudan con el sonido, creo que um, aquí dejo el micrófono activo. So sorry. Hello, I think it's my neighbor. Oh, okay, sorry. It's no problem. There's a lot of noise. Uh, yes. Okay. Since why I am, I don't. You can't so, sleep. Okay. Okay. Este, I think I could be. It could be the sixth grade because uh, there. Um, she. She, how do you say enseñó? Learned. Taught. 
thought. 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 About about the thought about the. Hmm. Plan de vida, and uh, in this moment, uh, I do I do it, and now uh, actually actually I am complete that and that that was the best that were the best. Okay, that was the best. Issue. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. And the music was perfect too, right? Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, thank you, uh, Rodrigo. Let's continue with the next uh, questions. I don't know if someone wants to share the opinions about these questions. No sé si alguien que quiera share, right? The, your opinion related to these questions. No sé si alguien wants to share? No? Okay, so let's, go, let's move on to the next activity day. Okay, let's discuss this part. Fun for everyone around Orlando. Okay, in your case, Stella, which activities have you done? Which activities have you done, Stella? Have you, for example, gone to a theme park, go dancing, visit a space center, eat Cuban food, and watch which activities? ¿Qué actividades hemos hecho? Stella. Go dancing. Oh, go dancing, right? Yes. Okay. What about an alligator? Have you ever seen an alligator, Stella? No. It can be right. Yes, yeah, to see an alligator. Okay, and uh, what about uh, you? Uh, let's see, Sara Elisa. Which activities have you done? ¿Qué actividades hemos hecho? Um, mm -hmm. Only go dancing. Go dancing, okay. Yeah. Yes, right. In El Salvador, we don't have a space center, right? We don't have that. Okay. Yes, right. Perfect. Thank you. So let's see the topic that we have for today. Y vamos a estudiar ahora eh, lo que es el present Perfect. No sé si hemos estudiado that topic. Se llama el present perfect. Es un tiempo that we use it a lot. Present perfect. Ok, vamos a hacer un review de los verbos, de irregular verbs. ¿Por qué vamos a hacer un review? Porque en este tema lo utilizamos a lot, right? En el present perfect. Ok, let's make a review. Tenemos el verbo, we have the verb con, came, y cuál sería el siguiente, el past participle. Came. Con, came. Came. Con. Con, right. Con. Right. Con. Con. Uh -huh. Tenemos the next one. Study, study, y el past participle. Study. Yes, the same, right. Study. Tenemos el verbo stay, stayed, y en past participle. Stay. Stay. The same, right? Stayed. What about begin? Tenemos begin, began, and the past participle. Begun. Yes, begun, right? Estos verbos nos lo tenemos que memorizar porque los, los vamos, vamos a conjugar con este present perfect. Tenemos el start. Started, the past participle. Started. Started, right. Started. Started. Ok, luego tenemos el 16, right. Wrote, and the past participle. ¿Cuál sería? Yeah. Written. Written. It is written, right. Written. Written. Okay, then we have it, eight, in the past participle. Even. Even, right. Then we have cut, cut, past participle. Cut, cut, same, same. Cut, same. Then we have read, read, in the past participle. Red. Red, lo mismo. Red, it doesn't change. Tenemos el verbo to be. 
Tenemos en, el, en la forma simple, be, en el past, simple past, was and where, and in the past participle. Being. 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 Okay. Being. Ah, okay, Emily. Okay, I'm gonna just take a screenshot. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Y estos verbos, creo que la mayoría tenemos un listado of the regular verbs. Entonces eso nos va a ayudar bastante, right? Ahorita se lo comparto por WhatsApp. Y les voy a compartir también, si no lo tenemos, eh, listado de los verbos. List of irregular verbs. Ok. For you to study. Eh, se los voy a poner con Spanish translation. Eso es muy bueno para que nosotros... Ok. Solo les voy a compartir el listado para que veamos de dónde vamos a sacar el, el, el tiempo del present perfect. Okay, ¿Me indica si lo pueden ver? Ahí está. Entonces, tenemos, esto se los voy a compartir también. ¿Cuál es el, lo que yo me debo de aprender para hacer el present perfect? Es, son todos los que están en esta columna. Okay. De ahí es donde vamos a utilizar el present perfect. Este listado es de los irregular verbs. Okay. No sé si hay dudas about this part. No questions. No. Okay. So les voy a compartir también this one. So you can study. Tenemos que eh, aprendernos. This, this is Something like a mask. Okay, vamos a ver que cuando vamos a utilizar the present perfect, right? Sí. Okay. Tenemos entonces the present perfect con already and yet. Can you help me with the information? Eh, Gabriela Contreras, can you help me to read, Gabriela? The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the passive, the past part of first mm -hmm. Have you been to a jazz club? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been to several. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't been to one. Has mm -hmm. Carlos visit, visited the 10 parts? Yes, he's visited three or four. No, he wa he hasn't visited any part. Mm -hmm. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Okay, so tenemos entonces already, right? Tenemos yet. Cuando estamos utilizando el present perfect es cuando lo traducimos como yo he estado, yo he vivido, yo he comido. Todas estas son como las translations que le podemos dar al present perfect. Ahora, ¿cómo lo formamos? Okay, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Ok, uh, uh, here, right. Vamos a ver la estructura del present perfect. Lo estamos haciendo de la forma affirmative. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar primero? El sujeto. De acuerdo al sujeto, vamos a utilizar ya sea have o has. Por ejemplo, I, you, we y they. Lo vamos a utilizar con el have. ¿Ok? Y vamos a utilizar el verbo de la tercera columna, lo que les he compartido. Por ejemplo... They have eaten, digamos, tamales. Ellos han comido o oh, tamales, right? Vamos a otra oración. Uh, my friends have uh, been in Italy. Mis amigos han estado en Italia. 
Ahora, esos, ¿qué pasa si tengo he, she, or it? Voy a utilizar, si tengo, digamos, she, ha. he, yes, right. Voy a utilizar has. Y no nos olvidemos del de verbo que tiene que estar en past participle. Por ejemplo, Carla has eh, written a letter to you. As has written, ha escrito una carta to you. Ok, no sé si hay dudas about the, eh, la forma, right? Structure. Esto es, eso es lo que debemos de respetar siempre. La estructura of these things. No sé si hay dudas. Questions. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yeah. When we use the present perfect, the, the verb is always uh, it's always being in in the past participle, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, that's right. Always, all the time. Okay. 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 So, no questions. No, you say any other question, guys? No. Okay. So let's see uh, cómo hacemos las questions, right? Cómo vamos a hacer la pregunta. Have or has? Yes, right. Vamos a utilizar have or has al principio. Plus. Plus, yes. Subject. And then. Verbo. The past participle. Mm -hmm. And complement. And complement, yes. And right. signa. Yes, and the question mark. That's right. Tenemos eh, estas palabras already. Already lo vamos a utilizar mucho con affirmative sentences. Yo ya había, o ya, yo ya he comido. Right? That is the meaning. En cambio, el yet lo vamos a utilizar con questions and negative sentences. Pues las contractions. Lo podemos hacer in this way or in this one too. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, questions about how to I, uh, I was, today I was read um, in the uh, consejo or advice sobre yeah, the use, the use el, that the uh, consejo say mm -hmm. Uh, what when right uh, we don't we don't write a uh, contraction oh yes because right. it's uh, appear colloquial is uh, no col no contraction when right right but in the in the spoken way no, I'm just talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? That is something, as Rufino says, right? Uh, an advice, as Rufino says, that we have to write, for example, la forma larga de long form in a forma escrita, right? When we are writing, in the short form, when we are speaking mainly. Okay, no more questions, guys, about this activity, about this grammar section. Okay, so let's practice, right? Let's practice. And uh, you are going to write, you're going to answer this part, right? How many times have you done these activities in the past? Okay, we have the example. I've cooked dinner twice this week, this week, or I haven't cooked dinner this week. Algo bien importante in the negatives, right? Is that, for example, cuando hablamos negativas, vamos a utilizar el have, not, right? Or has, not. That is the way we are going to do the negatives. Okay, so let's try to do with number two. And let's see, Maritza Yolanda. Have you ever washed dishes? Have you 
ever washed the dishes? Or how many times have you washed the dishes? How many times? ¿Cuántas veces has lavado los platos, right? How many times? Okay, um, three times a day. Okay, entonces, I have. Mm -hmm. I have three. Washed, washed the dishes. Mm -hmm. Three times a day. Three times a day, right. Okay, that's right. Thank you. What about the next one? Uh, Norma, how many times, how many times have you listened to music? How many times have you listened to music? How many times? ¿Cuántas veces has escuchado música? Este día. Uh -huh. It can be this day, right? Or the previous days. Una. One. Oh, ok, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la oración? I have. Mm. Listen. Uh -huh. One. Okay, see. One. One. I'm one time, right? Okay, there you have. What about number four, Maria Luz Nieto? How many times have you done the laundry? How many times have you done the laundry? Mm -hmm. In, in la lavandería, right? How many times? Uh, I, I have, I no, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't um, the, the laundry. Okay, I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't done. I laundry. haven't done. Mm -hmm. The laundry. Yeah. Aún no he hecho, right? The laundry. Okay. Maria, what about you, Fernando Orellana? How many times have you gone to a restaurant? I have... Uh, I have when? Okay, I have went or okay. I have gone. Gone, yes, mm -hmm. gone. I have gone twice a week. Okay, I have gone to a restaurant. To a restaurant. To a restaurant. Once, right? Once a week. Once a week. Okay, there you have. Thank you. What about number six, Carlos Dubon? How many times have you cleaned the house? No? Okay. What about? I, oh, um, yes, there you are. I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have, I have cleaning. Cleaned? Okay. Cleaning. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. House? Uh, the one, house. Mm, once. Uh -huh. Once, right? Once. Okay, en el caso que nunca hemos hecho algo, podemos decir, I have never también. Never cleaned the house. Right? También podemos decir, I have it. Esa es mi respuesta a todos. <laughs> yeah, right? O también podemos decir, I no have en casa. Yes, okay. So, I have it. También podemos responder. I haven't cleaned the house yet. Aún no he limpiado la casa. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions about this part. Mm -hmm. No questions. 
O también podemos, si en caso que ya lo hicimos, I have already, right? Yo ya he limpiado, clean the house. Okay? Yo ya he limpiado la casa. Something, algo bien importante es que tenemos que hacer énfasis en los sonidos, right? Tenemos, por ejemplo, ya vimos las different sounds. Tenemos cleaned, studied, listened, washed. También tenemos que hacer un énfasis in the past participle sounds. Ok, guys, vamos a seguir practicando. And uh, here you are going to help me, right, with this exercise. Let's do it here together. Ok, let's see. Emily Marroquín, can you help me with number one, letter, read the first one and help me to answer letter B. Hello, Emily. How do you do mm -hmm. much, much exercise the week? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do already. Mm -hmm. for, yes. For times. Mm -hmm. Pilates class. Okay. For, for time. For times. Okay, thank you. Tenemos entonces el verbo be, right? Tenemos be. ¿Cómo nos quedaría si es una oración afirmativa? Jenny, tell me, Jenny. Yes, I have already been to Pilate class for time. Yes, for right. Time. Tenemos, yes, I have already been to Pilates class for times. Nos está preguntando que si hemos hecho demasiado ejercicio esta semana. Y la respuesta nos dice sí, ya he estado en Pilates, right? Cuatro veces, right? During the week. Recordemos que el B es en esta en la tercera columna in the past article. What about number two? Can you help me, Patricia Verónica? Number two. Tenemos el verbo play, right? Tenemos not have. Um, ¿Qué uh, Have, um, have you um, play? Yeah. Have you play? Play. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, any sport this month? Mm -hmm. And the answer? No, I haven't. No. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, no. Um, I, I haven't. Haven't. No hace falta el verbo, right? Sería. No, eh, I haven't. Played. Played. Mm -hmm. no. uh, en ese caso tenemos el not have, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, no, I haven't had. No he tenido. No, I ah, ok. Uh -huh. Pero eso también. I haven't had the time. Yes. <coughs> también lo podemos responder, sí, pero aquí está la respuesta ya. Okay. okay. So, no he tenido, right. Vemos que el past participle de have es had. Okay. Had, had, had. Okay. Let's go with the next one, number three. Can you help me, eh, Catherine? Catherine, can you help me with number three, Catherine? No? Okay. So can you help me, eh, Jose Carpio, with number three? How many movies? Tenemos el verbo be y tenemos not see. Significa que vamos a ser en negative, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sería... How many movies? Eh, how many movies? Eh, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué you, utilizamos? You, 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 yes. Sí. Ok, sería have primero, right? Ah, have. Have. Okay. Vamos acá empezando el be. ¿Cuál sería bean. el pas? Being, right? Being. Being. Ok, and the answer, actually... Y tenemos que ser negativa. 
Actualmente I I I haven't. Okay, I haven't. See the... any yet. Seen or seen? Any. Seen. Seen. Seen, right? I haven't. Any any yet. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Jose. So, can you help me with number four, Paola Maria? Number four. Have you been mm -hmm. to any interesting parties recently? Mm -hmm. No. No, I haven't uh, been. Haven't been. Tenemos el verbo go in that case. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Sería go is. Go or go? Go, go, uh -huh, go. Okay, recordemos que para el verbo go, tenemos que es, pasado sería went y el past participle sería gone. Okay, thank you. What about the next one, Alejandra Cristina? Number five. No, I haven't. Mm. Mm. This one, this one, number five. Oh, mm -hmm. ah, number five. Mm -hmm. Have you cooked mm -hmm. any this week? Mm -hmm. Have you cooked? Okay. Cooked. Mm -hmm. And the answer? Yes, uh, yes. I have already. Mm -hmm. Made dinner. Yes, twice. right. Made dinner twice. Thank you, Alejandra. So, and the last one, can you help me, Alba Saavedra? How many times? Hello, Alba. Hola, hola. Tenemos problemas con el audio, parece. Okay, can you help me with that one, Emily Marie? Hello. Oh, yes, hello. In how many times? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many times have you, right? Have you? What is the pasado de go, guys? Gone. Gone, right? Gone. How many times have you gone out? to eat this week y la respuesta what, what can be the answer tenemos el verbo eat right yeah. I have eaten eaten eat right it. at fast food restaurant a couple of times ok do you have questions guys ya vimos las affirmatives questions eh, también the answers I do you have questions Recordemos que si también queremos responder a una respuesta de sí o no, podemos responder con yes, I have, yes, I have, o no, I haven't. No, I haven't. En el caso que sea he, she, or it, the same, right? Ok, no questions. No, ok. So let's practice. Ahora ustedes se van a quedar on alone, right? Working. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? In the first part, right? Vamos a, if you can, if you know this, you're going to write the verse, right? In past participle. But if not, you can use a dictionary to find the past participle of the verbs. Eso nos va a ayudar a practicar, right? The past Luego vamos a hacer sentences usando el verbo y de acuerdo al verbo vamos a utilizar ya sea have, perdón, de acuerdo al sujeto vamos a utilizar ya sea have or has. Okay, take care with that. Ok, esas son las two tasks. No sé si hay dudas or questions. Y si tenemos tiempo, if we have time, vamos a hacer these questions. Vamos a, a order, right? Vamos a ordenar the questions with 
the answers. Sorry, teacher. Okay, Alba, thank you. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and uh, remember this is the time for you to practice. This topic is very essential, right? So I highly recommend you to practice. Okay, let's go to the breakout sure. rooms. Mm -hmm. Is the do you can can you send the picture the fix first yes. picture okay thank you. You mean the exercise, Rodrigo? The exercise? Um, yes. It yes. Is. I'm gonna send them. Let's go to the breakout rooms, guys, and uh, I'm gonna be showing the. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, Catherine. I think uh, you call me and I don't. Uh, bueno, no le puedo responder porque este, no estoy acostumbrada a que me llamen por mi primer nombre. And my uh, nickname, my uh, some nickname is Catherine. And in the in various occasions, lo cambio, pero siempre me vuelve a aparecer. Así que una disculpa. Ah, okay. Y cómo le gusta que le llamen, Catherine? Porque this is the first time, right? Le pongo. Ajá. Tatiana. Y como hay otra compañera en Ajá. clase que se llama o sea, tiene the same name. Uh -huh. Entonces, siento que que es a ella, pero igual voy a cambiarlo para no. Tener el ah, pero fíjese que no, Tatiana, creo que no está ya en este curso porque no la ve, no la he visto. Creo que ya tiene, no sé si. Se... Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. I ok, entonces, Tatiana, it. right. <laughs> ok, if you can change that because. Lo voy a cambiar. Ok, no problem, Kat. Lo voy a <laughs> Tatiana. <laughs> Sorry, Tatiana. Ok, thank you. So let's go to the breakout rooms, guys. Veronica and Tatiana, let's see if I can send you again. Let's see. Hi, uh, Veronica and Tatiana, please. Let's see, Veronica. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, okay, let's see. Hello, teacher. What happened? Okay. We're gonna try. Vamos a intentar. We're gonna try uh, again at the end. Okay. Okay, teacher. Gracias. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you try Veronica too? Okay, there it is. Hello ladies, do you have questions? No teacher, by the moment, no question. No. I'll let you work with this.
Okay, guys, so let's try to answer the first part. Then if we have time, we're going to try to complete the second part. Okay, can you help me with the first one, Veronica de Martinez? What is the past participle of by? What is the past participle of by? Hmm? What's the Veronica? Mm -hmm. Creo que tenemos un problema de internet. Okay, okay. Alguien que tenga, who has that one? It is bot, right? Okay, Jenny, okay, we have it. It is bot, right? It is bot. Okay, what about letter C? We have cell in there, right? Cell, what is the password? It is sold. 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 Right. Then we have do. What is the password? Don. It is Don. 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 And then we have a verb encontrar, find. Found. Um, yeah, all right. It is found. What about the past participle of come? Come. Come. Right. The same. Come. What about the bare foot? Foot. 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 It is going to be foot, right? Same. Okay. What about take? Taking. 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 Yeah. All right. It's going to be taken. And what about a right? Writing. 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 Right. Written. Okay. What about break? Break. Broken. 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 Okay. Broken. Right. I am broken. broken. expression. I am broken. Right. Estoy en arruinado. I am broken. That is another. <laughs> yeah, right. I am broken. Okay, let's see. What about set? Set. set. The same, right? We have that it is set. Then we have read. 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 It is read. read. Okay, ese verbo cuando está en presente, vamos a pronunciarlo como read. Pero cuando está en pasado, Vamos a pronunciar como el color rojo, right? Red. Okay. Be careful with that. Okay. okay. Then we have fall. Falling. Falling, Falling right? Falling. Okay. Then we have uh, rise, right? Rising. Rising, right? Rising. Rising. Okay. Then we have meat. 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 Okay. meat. Exactly, right. Cuando estamos en presente, lo vamos a pronunciar como meat. Pero cuando estamos en pasado, en past participle, lo vamos a pronunciar como met. Okay? So we have okay. well, think. Talk. No. Okay. Tenemos el verbo thought. En este verbo tengamos mucho cuidado con la pronunciation. Porque existe el otro verbo que es thought. Este thought, thought, porque es el thought. diéntasis, thought, thought, tiene TH, es del past participle de, de think, right. Pero si tenemos thought, es el past participle de teach, thought, thought, ok. So we have uh, the verse, mi recommendation, guys, es que siempre practiquemos el estado, right, without that. We are lost. Okay, guys, time is over. Tomorrow we're going to continue. And uh, thank you so much for coming. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you to you guys. Bye, see you. Good Have a good night. Bye bye. 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 See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you to you. Bye bye, guys. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night, teacher. Good night, Stella. See you.